Yo, what's going on, everybody? Clifford Pen Flamingo Power Wash. Today I'm out working in um, Riverview, Florida. This is way on the other side of town from Tampa. It's about 45 minutes out. And it's crazy because I got this job here through uh, uh, my yard sign. I was on this side of town like last August and um, I was at a dentist appointment and I just decided to drop a sign off. And lo and behold, <laughs> almost a year later, <laughs> I got a call from this yard sign. So, uh, you know, y'all know them signs work. So if you don't got them, I suggest y'all get some signs, man. Um, I'm doing a pool deck here, pool cage. I'm doing a driveway and also a vinyl fence. Um, I appreciate y'all checking out the videos and subscribing to the channel. Y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna start working. So this is what we're doing here. We're doing this uh, white vinyl fence over here. It's not too, it's not too bad. Just got some uh, spider webs on it. You know what I'm saying? Some dead bugs, but nothing too crazy. The pool enclosure is dirty though. As you can tell, it's a lot of algae over here in the beams. They got algae in the beams. I'm gonna get that cleaned up. I'm gonna start watering the plants down from that side. Uh, just so for, I protect the plants. I got my machine about halfway uh, on the idle, and I mean on the throttle, just so I can uh, warm it up before I can uh, turn it all the way up when I start downstreaming. Right now I'm just downstreaming the SH using the sud sucker. Should be nice and easy to come off. We about to start rinsing from the top. I got the fence downstream and the outside of the cage downstream. So all one shot rinse, then we move on to the inside.
Let it dwell for about 10 minutes. And by the way, I got 250 feet of line, high pressure holes on my um, high pressure line, and I'm downstreaming with it. So you guys, you know, always asking me, you know, how long is the hoses? Today I'm losing a little bit longer than usual because I had to wrap around a longer area. So, you know, 250 feet. There you go. guys so the driver is clean everything is done i'm just gonna put a layer of um post treatment on here just to get some of this uh, start, uh stubborn algae that was built up on the sidewalk because they haven't cleaned it in a while nothing crazy you know what i'm saying just touching up a few spots um whatever's in my hose i have to flush it out anyway so I gotta flush the pump out so whatever's in the hose i just use to touch up all the spots that you know that were heavy with, uh, with algae of course oil stains don't come up with sh you know that's a different process which they didn't pay for so 
therefore those are going to be staying there. Put some up here. To brighten these up. And you guys know, uh, I know some people ask, do they have to rinse the post treatment? No, you don't have to rinse it. You just leave it on so it can do its magic. And uh, it's gonna take off all the, all the stains up. You gotta rinse it. All right. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start packing up. We're done with the job. As you can tell, the fence came out pretty clean. Pool cage, looking 100% fabulous. You know how I do. Got all that cleaned up. Look at this floor, man. Look, look like I sealed that thing, huh? Got the enclosure looking nice and clean. Customers happy. It's Saturday. I'm about to get that check and get up out of here. Thank y'all for riding out with me today. I hope y'all have a good weekend. I'll see you in the next video.